Hi everyone. In the previous video, I've shown and explained what are app actions. It's a way of end-to-end -end tests to reach inside application, call its methods, check the internal state, and so on. I've shown this example and it relied on the application exposing you know, certain component or instance of a component on a window object and then the test getting that property from a window object so that it can call set state or check the state object. Well, in this video, I'll, I'll show a better way. I'm going to use my plugin that I've written called Cypress React App Actions. I'm going to install this plugin. So I'm going to install this plugin in my project. Now I'm going to run the project again. This time, I'm going to remove this custom code from the application. So my application will not do anything out of ordinary, nothing specific for testing using Cypress. And instead, things around, I'm gonna take my three tests that check the state of application at the end of the first form right here. And right now the test fails. And let me just say only, right? And it fails because it's trying to get to the window and grab its app property. Well, we no longer set the app property. We're not exposing the component. So here's what we'll do instead. I'm gonna import this component that I just installed, Cypress React App Actions, and it will add a custom command. So at the end of a test, right when I wanna check the state of application, I'll just use normal Cypress command to get the DOM element. So in my application, I have a form. And from that form, let's get the React component using get component command. Okay, so let me just run this, make sure it works. Open the dev tools and let's look at what we got here. Okay, uh, this is one second. So when we get a component, let's just print it to the con using console log function. Okay, so this is what we get using get component custom command provided by Cypress React App Actions. Notice it has a bunch of standard React commands, right? Because we have a component, right? And it has things like replace state and force update and set state, you know, things were coming from React component class, but it also has the state object. All right, so if you want to validate it, we can say its state should dip equal whatever properties in the state object we expect the application to have after we fill the form. Perfect. Now let's look at the second test right here. Again, we're going to get the form or any DOM element really, um, and we'll get the component and we'll evoke the set state. Let's see. Notice how the second test, test immediately started on that part of the application process. And at the end, we should validate that the state is deep equal to what we expect. And the same thing we can do at the start of a third test where we started a known uh, state and let it finish and submit the form. Okay. So, but this is what you can do without any modifications to your React application, without uh, using dev build of your React application, just using any production or dev build you can just use Cypress React App Actions plugin to get from the element to the React component and then control it, check it, invoke custom methods and so on. So it's a pretty powerful way of checking what your application is doing and forcing it to do things that it normally would not be able to do, for example. 